and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, make sure to head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and most reliable coins on the market right now. Head on over to Buy Madden Coins and use code PULA at checkout for 20% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, I'm going to be going over the brand new heavyweights. So, guys, we got two today. Now, I originally made my comeback to YouTube from my long trip on Monday, which was flashbacks. Did really well, surprisingly. And flashbacks aren't pretty that exciting. Aren't usually that exciting. So, hoping things are a little better today. Because things went well on Monday. So, hopefully things go well today. I should be one of the only content guys today, considering one of them is taking a, um, a break. You know, he's been a little lazy today. Went off to the Pro Bowl, so I got you guys covered. Now, as you guys know, heavyweights, it is Wednesday. Now, this is going to be a slower week. We're going to have the flashbacks to heavyweights and, please God, no veterans. But probably the final content drops before we do get the Super Bowl promo and potentially Series 4. Because that's pretty much it. We're, it's one of those weeks where we just get the typical content. Now, the two we got is a Steeler and a Patriot, as you guys probably have seen by the title already. We have to check out the stats before we make any criticisms. we got to check them all out first. Hopefully they're all out in good time. We don't gotta wait for them because as you guys know, EA is infamous. Infamous for not releasing content at the right time. The packs will always be out though. Let's go check the store pack real quick for the heavyweights, see what the prices are like. Usually they change the pack prices as uh, things go up in overall, which I don't think they have. Heavyweight pack, 6,490. 89 plus overall heavyweight player. It really depends, right? It can be worth it. I'm not the biggest proponent of opening heavyweight flashbacks into these packs i'd rather just buy them off the auction block i've tried them in the past theoretically what ends up happening is either you pull the best thing and you sell it and somehow you end up breaking even or you pull the worst thing you sell and somehow you end up losing half the coins it's really controversial when it comes to opening up heavyweight packs I'm not really the biggest fan of it but as you guys saw with stefan to it and a guy in the patriots we're gonna go check them all out let's see what the current price of the heavyweights are before we go over the cards i haven't really checked these out in quite a while these are this is a 93 overall drop for the stefan to it so Hey guys, I'm probably saying his name wrong, but don't kill me for that. It's a 93 overall drop. Now, with the flashbacks, they did something weird. They did a 93 and then a 92. I'm pretty sure they did like one or the other, which is kind of weird they did it that way. But we are at 93 points, so I don't know if they're going to be dropping one and one or if they're going to drop two and two. It really depends. But let's head on over. Let's go check out the prices of these cards. These are going for about 123K, so we have to imagine that the 93 one will probably go for about 100. Wow, that's kind of expensive. I mean, not for a 93, but just for a heavyweight card. So the 93, we're going for at least 160 about. I'll probably start off around 200k, but it'll come down pretty quickly. All right, let's go check these cards out. The first card that we have on the left here is James Devlin. 92 overall fullback, so it is going to be 92, 93 slash half drop like that. I don't know why they're doing it like that. That's kind of stupid in my opinion, just because of the fact that Madden's at 97 overalls. We really, I mean, like, don't, I know, don't kill me that you have a 92 overall team. I know I do too. But the point is, is that they should be dropping better cards because the more better cards they drop, the cheaper low overall cards go. Inflating, adding more saturation to the lower cards doesn't do much besides drop cards that a lot of people aren't as, and you're not going to be as excited for, right? Russell Wilson excited you, James Devlin, not as much. Now, great fullback, but Patrick Card is definitely better. Although he probably is a budgety option to Patrick Card, but at a 92 overall, I'd probably rather just go Christian Okoye at that point. He's six foot three. He can be powered up, which is a benefit. 70 speed, really slow. 87 strength is decent. 95 awareness, 86 carrying, 75 catching, 83 run block, 97 lead block, and 93 impact blocking. Now, chemed up and powered up, gonna have a close to, probably actually will have a 99 lead block. Gonna have a really good, like, probably 96 impact blocking with an, like, an 86 in, uh, run blocking. Has a pretty good carrier, though. I don't recommend you actually use him for runs. Way too slow. I think even on a fullback dive, you might not get there in time. Okoye is definitely the best fullback dive guy with Patrick Card being, I guess, decent, although he's pretty slow, too. James Devlin's going to be an awesome, 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 awesome blocker. But the only issue with Devlin, right, is speed. So when you do a pitch, right, and you do like an, you do a pitch or an outside zone with a leading fullback, Bo Jackson has like a 97 speed powered up and chemmed up. He's going to have like, he's going to have a plus 27 speed. Like this, this is going to be the lead blocking, live action lead blocking. I think Devlin actually will tackle Bo Jackson. He'll be chasing Bo Jackson. So it's not the best lead block option. You definitely want more speed out of the lead block spot because he's not going to be a great lead blocker. Now up the middle, potentially he could be one. But again, I think Bo will just get to the line of scrimmage as quickly as Devlin does. So again, it might be kind of like annoying if you guys understand what I'm trying to say. Could be decent. On a, a Patriots team team, definitely a great addition. As a whole though, I think I'd rather a few other fullbacks. Definitely a Koi when it comes to lead blocking, probably the best one just speed wise. Up the middle, Ricard's probably the best one. James Evans just seems a little too slow to do either or. Now, don't get me wrong. 
He will lay someone on their asses. He will have really good blocks through, but that's but you're gonna have to really wait, lay off the sprint button, let him get to his block first, which also could disrupt the whole play. I don't know, not my not my cup of tea when it comes to fullbacks, but definitely has good stats. Just the speed just sucks because no one really uses the fullback in the ways that he's meant to be used for. You're gonna be using him for like outside zones and other things. And in real life, it works. And Madden, I don't think it's gonna work just as well. Out on this card, although probably not gonna be too expensive. Like we saw, probably like in the 120k range, which honestly really isn't all that bad. Gonna be a decent card. So let's head on over to the next heavyweight card. So the next heavyweight card we have is Stefan to it. The left end for the Pittsburgh Steelers, 93 overall. He can be also powered up, has the, the little no, the little cancellation sign in his archetype. Don't know what that means. But he does have a power-up, which is awesome. It's always good to see that you guys have a power-up, right? Because we can work with that. A card looks to a flashback, a heavyweight, and a veteran. Without a flat, without a, without a power-up, they always look ass. With a power-up, a lot more can be done. Now let's go over this card stats. He's six foot six. He's very tall. He's also the 93 overall version. He's not the 92 for this week. He is 93, which means he probably will go somewhere closer to the 160k range although initially he'll probably be more like in the 200k range and eventually come on down as time goes on now he does have a 75 speed which is decent honestly i don't know if you guys have realized pittsburgh steelers as of lately their ends have been like for years now the same way they always have really good pass rushing really good everything but they're always kind of slow and big like uh hayward stefan to that's kind of like been their scheme they also had a lot of guys for their veterans and they've been there for a decent amount of time but 75 speed 82 excel is not horrible for 93 left end especially on a Steelers steam team which definitely could probably use this end not a horrible addition 91 strength good strength 92 tackle good tackle 97 play rec guys that's that's insane that's solid chemed up and everything maxed out powered up he's gonna have a 99 play rec that's a very very solid 92 block shedding again really solid 86 power move and 66 finesse move is kind of where this card takes a dip now had you given this card more along the lines of a i'd have to say a just at least a 90 power move or 88 88 because chemmed up and powered up he could have done a lot i would say that that card would have probably been a much better addition to most teams but the way he currently stands he kind of looks like a defensive tackle like a insane play rec great strength great block shedding but now i can't trust him off the edge because he's not gonna get a power rush off the edge he's not gonna get any finesse off the edge he's gonna be more of a pure block shedder which is good for outside runs but then he's not exactly the fastest either so you could always slot this guy over to defensive tackle if you could do the whole secondary position change i don't know if i'd go that far maybe in like a steeler steam team you can go that far because you're, you're gonna have to use all the steeler players you guys get regardless car's not bad it's still a solid car but that power and finesse is way too low for my liking the play rec and the block shedding tackle do boost a little bit the excel is not bad strength's not bad i don't think it's my recommended card but as far as steeler steam team goes you guys can definitely always use the cards I mean, any theme team in general, like, is what I'm trying to say, is could use the card. So I'm not, I'm not trashing it, but I, I personally don't think these were the most solid drops. Heavyweights, it's funny, earlier in the year, heavyweights are solid. They're big, beefy men who can get the job done in the trenches. They get their jobs done. Always great. But as the year goes on, they're too beefy and too and too much, and they're, just, they're not that great anymore, especially at a time when we have the awesome cards in the game. As it pretty much does wrap up the heavyweights, let's go check out the blocks, see if they're up, and check out the prices. So back on Madden real quick, let's go update the block real quick see what's going on we got james devlin he's obviously up stefan too it's at 300k yeah that's just initially devlin's already at 200 he should come down to probably i'd say around the 120 130 range and then stefan too should be closer 160 200 it shouldn't be too long i'll probably i'll give him like maybe a few hours maybe a day or two it's just it's the first drop things are out. i if someone just bought that too and i'll be making fun of them there's no way so much bought for 300k unless you're like a 21 million coins in your steelers steam team but overall guys pretty solid day nothing amazing but nothing it wasn't horrible it, it was just solid it wasn't my favorite day of drops but it wasn't bad i mean it, it can't get worse i mean flashbacks actually this week they weren't great but it, sometimes i like covering flashbacks for some weird reason but guys it is better for the video if you guys are new to the channel make sure you're down below hit that subscribe button turn the noti bell boys can we get to 18k by tomorrow that'd be awesome guys it's, it's a milestone like 20k is the big milestone we got to 10k now we're gonna get to 20k we keep growing we're grinding out to 100k total obviously that, that's always the goal in everyone's eyes but we got to start slow we're go day by day with it and 20k is the next big milestone guys so let's keep growing can we get 200 subscribers today that'd be awesome and the way, best way to help me do that guys if, if you're noti gang comment down below let me know if you have any questions let me know down below and always like the video that's the best way to help me out in this journey and keep grinding this channel or community as a whole can we get 200 likes on heavyweight video i know it's asking for a lot 200 likes on heavyweight video if you're here guys run up that like button it helps me out tremendously you guys don't understand when you guys do that so 200 likes boys let's get it done thank you guys so much for watching i hope you guys did enjoy enjoy the rest of your day make sure to check out the other two videos i do have coming for you guys probably around like 1 30 and then like four o'clock ish 
uh, p.m. Eastern time. That's when you should be expecting them. But that's about it. Thank you so much for watching. I'm out. Peace.